if you've been following me or following along, you know I've been talking about system one, system two thinking and how the duality in neuroscience applies to that. But there's also something that's kind of interesting that's uh, been coming out around the uh, probably the last four or five years where they're starting to think about system three thinking. <clears throat> and that's how we use our imagination to kind of fill in the gaps and make choices, right? Some of that might be built on the context, the way we understand. Like, for instance, I'm going to tell you something. I want you to picture this in your mind. Melissa heads to the bank. Now, you probably, uh, you probably pictured Melissa walking with either a, you know, a night deposit bag, head to the bank, or maybe she's got her paycheck and she's going to cash it or deposit it. But what if I say the river current was fast? Melissa heads to the bank. Now your mind fills in something different, doesn't it? Kind of interesting, right?